So here's where the streetcar method meets the coffee game. We have to start with why. By the way, this might be the most important podcast episode you ever listened to. So listen closely. I'm putting this up on a web page. If you're finding it there, look at the notes. This is really important. Ready? So we made up the coffee game with one very simple premise because I get a lot of emails. I answer a lot of comments on Facebook. And one of the ones that I get constantly is what exactly should I imagine for this specific wish? And whatever I suggest, well, doesn't that leave something out, is the reply. That doesn't feel natural to me. So, I noticed one day, and this is really important, I noticed something. I noticed that how I experience one sip of coffee today is very different than how I experienced one sip of coffee when I was single and stuck in a faraway land because my visa ran out. I was stuck in America, for Fl in Florida, for, I don't know, six weeks, two months, working through my visa issues to get back to Australia, to be with the woman that I loved, that I chose to spend the rest of my life with. And so I was experiencing, but what do I imagine to imply that I'm back there? And I'm, I'm pondering this while I'm having one sip of coffee. And I realized I would have one sip of coffee differently. So I imagine having one sip of coffee with her in the garden like it's no big deal. And I just surrendered to that experience. You notice this is the secret of speedy surrender. Next, the streetcar. The streetcar is really cool, gang, because with the streetcar, the lady doesn't go to war with 3D reality. Another email that I get constantly has to do with my 3D isn't following my 4D, and when I am in my 4D and I come back to my 3D, and 3D reality is kicking me in the face, and it's like, I get how real this is to you. This is real to you because you don't know how real you are. And so we, did, we decided, let's run with this. And we put together another pack, the streetcar system. Because what the lady did, and here's the super summary. Again, a super summary is not the same as a course that's 60 or 90 minutes. Right? Now here's the cool thing. The lady used what was in 3D reality to... Ready? She didn't go to war against it. She used the salt of her tears and imagined while she was crying that that was the salt of the ocean mist. She imagined the, the, the streetcar railing that she was holding on to was the railing of a ship while she was holding on to it. And if we take where the streetcar and the coffee game intersect, the streetcar and the coffee game intersect with you taking a sip of coffee while you're having a sip of coffee. You experience that sip of coffee as if your wish were fulfilled. And so you can imagine me in Holiday, Florida. Right? It wasn't a holiday for me. I have lovely friends there, but it was not a holiday for me. You can imagine me in Holiday, Florida, s surrounded by signs. They call Florida the Sumi State in that part of the country. Every place you go, there's a billboard saying, have you bumped into someone? Has someone looked at you funny? Do you want to keep Did somebody divorce you or do you want to divorce someone? There's lawyer billboards everywhere. And I just go, wow, that's nuts. But meanwhile, I digress. So I have a sip of coffee, and instead of pondering all the, the lawyer billboards... I'm experiencing, while sipping one sip of coffee in Florida, I'm experiencing one sip of coffee with Victoria in the garden in Victoria, Australia. That's the state we live in. Ironically enough, one of the names for Victor the state of Victoria where we live is the Garden State. Imagine that. This is my world. So if you got gold today, there's a link to nevillegoddardstore.com. Remember, a podcast, a little super snip is not the same as a course, a training, or a deep dive. Right? I can put a lot in five minutes here, but I can't put in five minutes what I can explore with you in an hour, 
in 90 minutes in 90 days. NevilleGoddardStore.com. You'll find a lot of goodies there. And uh, for fun, too, I'm putting in a link below for my friend Q's book. He wrote a book on the coffee game. Because here's the thing. Years ago, we made it up. Because people were asking exactly what should I imagine. So I say, hey, what would you experience differently? With something that you do now that you would do then. For me, it's coffee. I love coffee. I drank it when I was single and stuck. I'm merry. I drink it now that I'm merry and married. But I experience it differently in the garden with Victoria. That's the beginning of the coffee game. And you'll notice back then we even built in the streetcar method, but now we've really expanded on it because it's time. Because everyone out there is teaching about 3D and 4D and to ignore the, the 3D. There's a mistake. Let's ignore 3D reality. Let's ignore the bus. You see, Abdullah told Neville to walk as though he were in Barbados. He didn't tell him to ignore the bus. There's something that a lot of people got to really notice, right? You don't ignore it. You use it to your advantage. You don't let it upset you because you get the physical follows. And you can use this foundation that you've built that follows you. The railing of the bus, the one sip of coffee, the salt of your tears. You can use them as part of your imaginal experience that goes forth. You catching that attitude of Abdullah? You get why we always dive into that in Triple D? Meanwhile, Neville Goddard's store. Go there, have fun, and uh, if you got, what is it, three bucks while you're here, get Q's book, right? It's on Kindle. Or you can, you can read it on your phone, you can read it on your computer, you don't need a Kindle. You can read it on your laptop, you can read it on your tablet, you can read it on your eye thing for three bucks. All right, have a lovely day, and go to nevillegoddardstore.com too, because I want you to get some goodies from me and Q. See ya.